Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is supposed to be forging on, but it's more like rotator cuff doing nothing to being bored. <clears throat> uh, had a shower yesterday. Awesome. Other than it actually really had to watch hanging my arm down. It felt great to straighten my arm out. It's in this sling all the time. And just to stretch it out, actually hurt at the elbow for a little bit, but felt great just to let it stretch out. Uh, I was kind of surprised because with the this big old cold pack pad on there, and uh, and then all this garb and everything else for a week. Well, it's been for four or five days in a row. I uh, had really seen my arm here much. I mean, we had. Took it off and looked at the you know the bandages and the it's like I think it's like five small cuts about so big and that are stitched up. And we go back in two days to get those taken out, uh, stitches taken out and looked at uh, by the orthopedics physician assistant. And then uh, but I hadn't really seen my arm and that all just uncovered. And my entire underarm pit, armpit, underarm, down where the tricep bar is, is just purple. I mean, purple, blue, black, just solid all up underneath there. So I guess that's just remnant from the surgery, I'm assuming. Uh, but anyway, this thing gets choking. I cannot keep this pad to stay between the collar thing and my neck. It always flips around towards just the thing. It actually feels a little better that way because it's not jabbing me. I was feeling a little claustrophobic. This is my uh, water, cold water pack umbilical cord. But I am i got my arm rested on the armrest here. I can't really see, anyway, of this glider rocker thing on the porch. Oh, get rid of that for a while. Oh my, that feels good. Whew. So, uh, yeah, that's the big thing is uh, I'm not even in this a, a week. And i got to be in this for six weeks, but everybody says hang in there, it'll be better. And I think in the next two or three days, I'm not sure, I haven't heard of, they said they called me for the orthopedics saying that they put in the order to the um, physical therapy place. And so, um, I mean, it could be, I guess in the next few days, I get a call from the physical therapist and uh, physical therapy place and set up an appointment. And it said on the doctor's orders to start physical therapy eight to ten days post-op. I thought it was eight to ten days after I got my stitches out. But, and the stitches will be, I think, eight days after the surgery. So I guess I can start any day. But I'm ready to do something. Now you got to take it easy. I just swatted my hand. Like this, this is kind of fast at a fly. I just moved at the wrist. <clears throat> and you thought I shot myself in the shoulder. So, even though it's, it basically doesn't hurt right now, I slept all night without any kind of painkillers. You know, didn't even take ibuprofen or nothing. Slept in the lazy boy. But uh, I'm getting used to that. <clears throat> and uh, I just kind of kick it back and... and uh, I have sleep apnea, so I had to wear a CPAP mask and all that. I just put that on, and put a sheet over me, and I'm out. So, but uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. I'm going to see how the physical therapy goes, and uh, <clears throat> I've been in watching other YouTube videos all pretty much all day. I mean, it's early afternoon now, mid afternoon, something like that, and. Uh, yeah, I've literally been watching YouTube all day. So, um, <clears throat> one thing that's kind of weird, just a total side note, is uh, now that I'm in my late 50s, 
Um, used to not bother me. I could go climbing in tight places, get crowded in a car, didn't think anything about it. I even watch on TV that's 15 feet away from my chair somebody get in a tight situation and I start gasping for air. I've gotten so claustrophobic in the last, whatever, five, ten years. It's crazy. <clears throat> and I was watching uh, another YouTuber called Farmer Derek. You may have seen his his biggest video was where he played a trombone to his cows and they all come over the horizon. It's kind of kind of funny. He does some funny stuff. And he just put out one <clears throat> about um, he went, he went to a corn maze, got invited to go to a corn maze in Kansas, I guess that's where he lives. And he took one of these blow-up clear balls that you get inside, plastic type ball that you get inside. And his son took a took a leaf blower and, and filled it up and he's trying to go through the corn maze. Of course there's no air flow through it, and so he's just in there sweating to death and every 30 minutes they had a free, giving fresh air in there. And I'm sitting there watching on YouTube, and I'm starting to gasp for air. And, it's just like, and then I watched uh, Solo Sinclair, another YouTuber, <clears throat> doing a car tour. For he's actually living in his Honda Civic, and I actually have a Honda Civic, which is parked now. The AC broke in it, and I, I'm going to try to get rid of it. But uh, I ended up buying a, a different uh, SUV. But he uh, he's living in this Honda Civic for a year and traveling. <clears throat> and uh, he's showing all this stuff and how he has to, everything's just kind of crammed in his car and he sleeps with his front seat all the way down and all this and I started gasping for air again and it's just like and then this thing started feeling like it was choking me <clears throat> I said okay I'm going out on the porch <laughs> and do nothing that's weird <clears throat> how you change from one time to another well, I got uh, in the middle of my last, while I was videoing, got an incoming call, which I use my cell phone for making my videos. And right in the middle of the call, uh, or right in the middle of filming, I got a call from the physical therapy place. They had an appointment for my first physical therapy treatment. So, I'll let you know how that goes, and we'll see. I don't see how much they can do right now. But like I said, I'll be getting the stitches out in a few days, and then uh, after that, I'll, uh, a few days after that, I'll have the first physical therapy and then go from there. So, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.